Yo, what is up everybody? Mad Luigi here with another Dark Souls 3 tutorial. Now in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to get the best gear that is a necessity if you want to farm efficiently in Dark Souls 3. You're going to want this gear if you're farming souls or if you're farming items. So let's get right into it. Coming in number one, we have the Covetous Silver Serpent Ring. This ring ups the amount of souls you get from slain enemies by around 11%. To find this, head up to the ceiling of Firelink Shrine via the tree or the locked tower and make your way to the far side of the ceiling. There's going to be an illusionary wall there hit it and there should be a chest nearby i think you have to drop down open a chest and there you go the covetous silver serpent ring next up we have the covetous gold serpent ring this ring increases item discovery by 50 extremely helpful if you're farming for specific items this one can be found in the toxic area in the profaned capital you're going to want to jump off a blue shingled roof to an open window walk up and there should be a cell to open up that has the ring inside of it and possibly sigvert of katarina if you're doing his quest line he might be here too Coming in at third, we have the Shield of Wand. This shield ups the amount of souls dropped by enemies by 20% and is stackable with other soul increasing items such as the Silver Serpent Ring. To find it, head to Smoldering Lake and head to where the Giant Worm is located. There should be a couple corpses on the ground with items on them and the shield should be among them. At number four, we have probably the strongest farming item in the game, regardless of what playthrough you're on, the Symbol of Avarice or the Mimic's Head. This increases soul absorption by 50% and item discovery by 99. Now that's more than everything else combined. However, these benefits do come at the price of draining your health. This symbol has a chance to drop from any Mimic in the game, However, it's a somewhat low chance, or if you kill every single Mimic, then the last one you kill will give you the Symbol of Avarice. So you have to kill every Mimic in a playthrough if you want this for sure, or you can follow my strategy for dropping it from any normal Mimic. The strategy I'm talking about is to go up to the Mimic, punch it, and then hit it with a Lloyd Salisman to put it to sleep, loot it, it should give you its normal item, and repeat this, punching it and putting it to sleep, and it should give you the Symbol of Avarice. If you get lucky, or it'll drain empty, then you can kill it, then you might get the Symbol. If this doesn't work, go find another Mimic and keep doing this. This, I found this the first time I implemented this strategy on a mimic. An early mimic is in the tower under the dragon at the high wall of Lothric. And finally, we have a couple more items that will help this. Not as significant as the other things, but we have the coins. The rusted coin and the rusted gold coin up item discovery by 50 and 100 respectively. If you get patches as a vendor in Firelink Shrine, he sells, I think, infinite rusted coins for 200 souls a pop. If he doesn't sell infinite, he sells like 200 or so, which is a lot. And that's going to be per playthrough, so that's basically infinite. And the rusted gold coins appear to be a limited resource found throughout the world. So you have to go throughout the world and you can find them, since they are basically double the rusted coin. And these these coins do not stack upon themselves so you can use a rusted coin and a rusted gold coin and they'll stack but you can't use two rusted coins it'll give you the same as using one so hope you guys have enjoyed this video this quick little tutorial on how to get the best gear for farming if you're going to be farming for a lot of items or a lot of souls or you're going to be farming for a long time you're really going to want this gear since this gear will make it go by a lot faster appreciate you guys watching the video check out my channel if you want more dark souls content i have a lot of stuff up and i'll be continuing to post a lot of stuff and i thank you for watching peace out